Hi. So this is a pretty big topic, so I'm just going to jump right into it. I hope I don't um, offend anyone. So I've lived 21 years, not too long of a time, but already in my lifetime, I've been given the news uh, that a trans person who's been part of my life has committed or has tried to commit suicide. Um, this has happened more than once. It's happened more than twice. In general, this is something that happens every day. Leela Alcorn's suicide is not an isolated event, and it didn't explode in the media because it was particularly unique or rare or shocking. Truthfully, it really wasn't much different than any of the other hundreds of trans youth suicides that happen that aren't covered by anyone more than their own friends and family and definitely not by mainstream news sources. Leela's death was not some huge, new, giant weight that was hurled at the transgender community. And all the rage and the outcry and all that attention that followed it, as the saying goes, it was the straw that broke the camel's back. I doubt there's a single trans person in existence who hasn't thought about it themselves or known multiple other trans people who have thought about committing suicide. And that is some seriously heavy stuff for every single member of a community to deal with. At some point, all of that sadness and unfairness and mistreatment of an entire group, it builds up and it explodes. But that streak of hundreds and thousands of trans people committing suicide and being completely unheard, it was broken by Leela. I mean, I saw it all over Tumblr, all over Facebook, all over Twitter. It was trending everywhere. It was on NBC, CNN, The Rolling Stone. It had a two-page spread in People Magazine, which is a magazine that my dad's girlfriend reads, and she brought it to me and commented on it as if it was the first time this kind of fate has ever struck a trans person. And hundreds of thousands of non-transgender people were reading her story, they read her final letter, and thus they were hearing the story of tons of other trans people that were just like her. It was most likely a really eye-opening experience for a lot of people who just aren't used to the kind of rejection that plagues our community. But there is nothing heroic about Leela's suicide. And that's definitely not to say that Leela herself was not heroic. Clearly, she used what voice she thought she had left to do something for this community that she cared about. But no one should be so disillusioned as to think that the way she would have preferred to leave her mark is through suicide. That is something that happens when you feel like you have no other options. I mean, there is not much that you can achieve in death that you can't achieve and more in life. Everything she had to offer the world has been cut short now. And to consider her death a blessing in any sense other than that she may have found peace for herself is discounting all of the difference she could have made today and tomorrow and years from now. We as a community and our allies have done everything we could possibly do to, in her words, make her death mean something. Not just for her, but for every single person who has ever felt like her. And looking at how far this message has reached and how much awareness it's brought to people that are otherwise unaware, um, even if it is kind of falling off our news feeds a month later, um, I think we really did make it mean something. But to me, one thing is very clear, and that is that we made her death mean something more, not her. Everything in her life meant something. Her vision, her ideals, her letter, her story, her message, her plans, her hopes, her dreams. Her life meant something great. But if she were on her own, all of her death would have really meant is sadness from the people she loved, dying hope for people who are struggling, a more depressing statistic for trans people, and maybe, maybe peace for her. I mean, maybe if she could have seen the way this community can come together, the way that we can support each other, how many supportive and accepting and loving people there are in this world, and how many places can really make her feel like she belongs, she would have gone down a different path. But she's robbed herself of that because society has robbed her of a happy life because of what it can do to a person and what it does to trans people sometimes. So Cole made a great video yesterday, um, kind of about some of the benefits of living, and I think that anybody struggling with something like this should definitely go watch that video because he's coming from a perspective where he knows a lot more about what he's talking about than I do. But in short, this world is full of great surprises. And no matter how it goes, everything you do in this life will matter. With every action you take, with every step, with every breath, it will matter. And just imagine how much you can do when even your steps and your breaths matter. And not only that, but billions of people on this earth are stepping and breathing and mattering and making this world a better place every single day. And the most important people to the Leela Alcorns of the world are the Leela Alcorns of the world. One of the greatest gifts you can give to somebody who is hurting is understanding. And if you're not there to give it, the cycle is going to continue. If you're not there to point out all of the crap that's been hurled at you throughout life, no one's going to know how to fix it or where it even is. You can make a huge difference. People are going to love you. You will be heroic and your life will matter.